Hey guys, it's Brian, and welcome back to Arrowhead Garage. This week on Tuesday Titan, we are replacing the front struts and springs for our 2008 Nissan Titans. If your front end's a little bit uh, swooshy, wooshy, wooshy, it's time for a new set of these. You can take it to a shop, but why? I'm going to show you how you can replace these yourself in your home two-car garage using basic hand tools. No special mechanics tools needed to replace these, and you can do it yourself in a Saturday afternoon. So with that, let's shut up and get to wrenching on this week's episode of Titan Tuesday. Alright kids, so here's what we're looking at. This is our outer tie rod, and there's another one of those cotter pins that we'll have to, that pin we'll have to take out and pull this nut off to be able to pull this away from the knuckle itself. So then it runs all the way back to here, and there's a nut here that stops it from going any further on our inner tie rod. So, peel this off. And just wiggle them out. There we go. Okay. One cotter pins out. You can trash this. Next on top, you have a big bolt that needs to come off. Bottom tie rod end is a 22 millimeter. We'll get her on there. And again, we'll take our breaker bar. And we will get this off <clears throat> all right there it is try and pull this nut off remember you'll get a new nut with your new tie rod in all right that's off but let's just go ahead and put it off the side here now we need to get the actual arm down and off the spindle here so take yourself a hammer and you're just going to tap that a few times, give it some love taps. And it doesn't drop down. Put your nut back on. Screw it down to where it is just flush to the top of that bolt. Just like that. And then whack it right there. And there we go. It has now dropped down. You can then take the nut off. And break it all the way through. There it is. And she is off. Moving that uh, tie rod out of the way there. Now that you have access to there. Now we're going to go up here and take off this nut here. This is your upper ball joint. Drop that down so we have access to be able to take the, the strut off. So you see there's a cotter pin here. So we'll get our handy dandy pliers and we'll take that off. Bend it back. Squeeze it together. Straighten it out. And then you can just pull this out. And you're going to be replacing this anyway, so it's not a big deal. There it is, and she's out. Now, Get a 22 on this. Put my cheetah bar on here. There we go. We've lowered it to where it's flush with the bottom. Now we're going to take our hammer. We're just going to tap on that right there with a few love taps. Okay. 
Okay. Bring this down. All right, now. That ball joint is loose. I'm gonna put this to the side. Okay, I'm gonna take a jack, put it underneath the suspension, lift it up a little bit, just to take some tension off that upper ball joint. Okay, now our nut is undone. Let's go ahead and release this, drop it down, and that uh, arm should come this way. There it is, she's free. Okay, now we have perfect access to get to our bolts up here and take our shock off. Hey, hey, this is why you're greasy all the time. Because you're in places you shouldn't be. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can get this lower joint off. There it is. Okay, one nut. So in there, you can see that there are three, two in the front, one in the back of those bolts. We're going to take those nuts off the bolts, and that way this whole thing will then drop down. Okay, 14 millimeter. Get me a cheater bar in here. There we go. There's one. There we go. Okay, and we got one more. It's right back over here. We'll go ahead and get that one loose too. Okay, so there's three on there. We got all three loose. Take it in here, but there's one nut. We'll go ahead and set those aside. Now I'm going to try my uh, cordless ratchet here. Just make life a little bit easier and a little bit faster. All right. Number two. And then get to number three here. All three of those are out. Do not touch that center bolt. Okay, got this bottom bolt out now. Now she's just gonna reach in here and pull this out. Next, we'll get this into place. Now we'll take our through bolt, and then a few love taps will push that in. Sure enough, we're going to take our nut and get it on here. So before we tighten up the bolt for down here, we want to lift up this lower control arm to where it's compressed so we can get this tight. Underneath that control arm. Okay, now this here is supposed to be 100 foot pounds. And what I'll do is I'll zip this on real quick. Torque bolt to 22. Cut it. There 
Got it. Got it. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. You can see it's pretty easy to drop that top ball joint, get out that old strut, put that new strut in, torque it down to 22 on top, 100 foot-pounds on that bottom bolt that goes through, and you've got yourself a set of new shocks for about half or more than what if you do if you take it to a shop. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Please enjoy your afternoon, and I'll see you next Tuesday for another Titan Tuesday video.